we're going to continue to show each other love. We're going to build each other up. We're going to hold each other accountable. And we're going to push each other to do the great thing. When you see a simp, you call a simp out. You know why? Because it's not that we don't want him to be able to exist in his kingship. But we understand that that's not a king. That is a man that is submissive to his wife. That is not ordained by God in no way, shape, or form. So we want to drive him out of that simp ship in order to get to the space that he's supposed to be in. We chastise you because we love you. We don't enable your bad behavior. And so we got to stop operating like lone wolves because you think that you a sigma male. But guess what? When I was watching the movie Gladiator and I was watching it over the weekend because I had a little bit of time to take in some movies. I very rarely watch TV. I'm watching the movie Gladiator. And when they got into the arena... He said, listen, whatever come through those doors, this is what Maximus was saying to his troops because he had some great people around him. He had the big bodybuilder white dude, the strong jaw white dude. He had the African dude that was standing next to him. Right. And he said, listen, guys, I know what y'all used to out here in these streets, but we in a completely different arena right now. And y'all ain't seen it. Y'all ain't seen it. He said, whatever come through those doors. We will survive and we will win if we stick together. And you know what the first thing that the big, strong dude, white dude did? He went out there as a Sigma male and he wanted to go and get his own glory. Listen, just because you great don't mean anything. Your ability to be great don't mean nothing. If you out there alone and all of these weak people that was riding on the back of these little chariots. All of the people. They had girls shooting arrows and they had all of these different things and they was picking them off. And he was one of the first ones to get under duress. And you know what Maximus had to do? He had to sacrifice his life and his self-worth and his ability to continue to command his troops in order to go and save that man that wanted to go out there as a lone wolf. Because he wanted to impress the women. He wanted to impress the crowd. Listen. You're not any less of a man because you continue to do what you're supposed to do. But when you operate within your purpose and you understand what it is that we're supposed to move like from an agenda perspective, you realize that you're much more powerful and we can pull a hundred times our weight when we all stick together. The thing that they tried to program into you was that being a Sigma wolf was the best thing for you. And you know what that did? That left you all alone in order to get, be able to get picked off. You thought you was cool. You thought you was tough. And meanwhile, all of the ones that was gathered against you was weaker vessels, but all they did was stick together and it was easier for them to overwhelm you. So now we got to break rank in order to come and get you and save you from yourself because you wanted to be the guy that then emasculated other people or tried to lean on or, or leapfrog and down your brother and say a real man ain't this or this guy ain't that in order to try to get some browning points, not knowing that you was leaving your brother abandoned. And more importantly, you were setting yourself up for failure. Because no simp wins in the end. Let me be very, very, very clear. No simp wins in the end. I could be the toughest, strongest, but as usual, I see some of the toughest, strongest men go down on a regular basis. And they die by themselves, alone, in a hole, with nobody that cares for them or love them. And their legacy is absolutely destroyed because nobody, nobody is going to be checking for you. As strong as you are, you're going to die strong alone. And you're not going to make no progress. And you're not leaving this earth in a better space had you not been here. All because what? You a tough guy. I'm a Sigma male. That's dope. But I ain't never met a great man that didn't help build up another man. You don't get no points just because you think that you awesome. Accolades and love and adoration comes from other people. It does not come from just you by yourself. And I don't know another man that has not been able to give another man game and then was still admonished and praised if you want your name to be remembered. So as Sigma as you are, what is the purpose of your life? What are you here for? That's what every man needs to be asking himself while he's sitting here trying to impress other women. What are you here for? What is your purpose on this earth? If you did not leave this earth in a sp better space had you not been here, and if your existence, if you have all of this talent and you so awesome, okay, let's talk to him. If you got all of this talent and you so awesome, right, what was it for if it, if it didn't actually feed into do doing something that's more purposeful than just to make yourself feel good? If the only thing that you get on this earth is the fact that you can get your stuff done and your sucked 
and all of this other type of stuff, then what was the purpose of it? Because let me just tell you something. There's been billions and billions and billions of people that came before you, and they all got, they all felt good. They all got some head. They all did all of the same things that you did. You're not doing anything more unique or awesome than anybody else. I'm going to just tell you for, for real. For real. I mean, come on, man. Listen, I'm 41 years old. I'm 41 years old. I didn't already did everything that you thought that you was going to do in your lifetime. I did it three times over. I've lived three lives already. Whatever it is that you thought that you can do, I've already done it multiple different times. From the time that I was a young dude all the way up until now, I didn't did everything. Well, maybe not everything. We don't do the Diddy thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But everything reasonable that a man would ever want and desire from a woman, I've already done it. I don't have to sit here and talk about it. I ain't got to brag about it. I ain't got to go back through my past. I've already heard a lot of those different stories. But what does it profit me? What does it gain me? What does it resonate with every single dude that came before me? All, billions of guys that came before me that has came on this earth and died has done some of the same things. And now what? For what? How does it actually profit us or benefit us or continue to push us forward as a man? And see, ladies, I'm going to tell you why this is so important, because this is not just men empowering every great community and every great existence or 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 environment by which you're supposed to thrive in. It comes with very great men. And so it's in your best interest for us to be phenomenal and to stick together and push forward with things that are great and righteous because you are then the beneficiaries of our greatness. When we become great, you live a phenomenal life. That's just the truth of it. And so this is the thing that you should be cheering on. This is the thing that you should be advocating for. This is the thing that you should be pushing for within your household. You want great men because then it benefits you. It's not for us. We the ones that's out here pushing and, and, and fighting wars and doing all of the things, and we doing it for our families. Men love to take care of their woman. Men love to do the thing that's in a bed, even if it's at their own behest, even if it doesn't benefit you. You want to do it, and you probably shouldn't do it in most situations because you don't understand what it takes in order to be successfully married. That's a completely different live stream. But we want to do it. We want to be used. We don't want to be misused. It's a difference. We want to be used. Transactions, human interactions are transactional and we're both using each other. And so as long as we both benefit as a result of us coming in contact with each other, then we are doing well. But we don't want to be misused. We don't want you to use us for something other than what it is that we're supposed to be coming together for. And that's the difference. So when we benefit or we become great, you're the ones that actually benefit as a result of it. So this is the thing that you should you should continue to push. But what I'm trying to communicate to guys tonight, and this is the conversation that I really want you to take from this, is that I love you. I genuinely do. I want you to be great. I want you to be awesome. I want you to achieve your life's dreams and goals. I don't want you to be held back. I want you to be in the best space possible. And let me first by start by acknowledging that you guys are phenomenal. 